as of 2018, there are 102 million miles worth of roads in the world that have been cataloged. And while the majority of those roads may be freshly paved and smoothed over, there are plenty that veer from the beaten path and require a sturdy vehicle and driver to navigate. But then there... 15 most extreme roads in the world. Okay? Let's see, because I know we have that in my country. There are roads that are downright dangerous. Whether it's because of steep cliffs, tight turns, or the risk of avalanches and earthquakes, these are the roads that can be so difficult to traverse that they can claim the lives of those unfortunate enough to fall victim to them. So, let's begin today's video, because here are the top 15 most extreme roads in the world. Number 15, Atlantic Ocean Road. All right, kicking off our list of extreme roads is the Atlantic Ocean Road in Norway. But what makes the story of this perilous road so interesting is that while it may be one of the most dangerous in the world, it's also been named one of the best scenic drives as well. So if you're looking to do some sightseeing on the Atlantic Ocean Roads, then you had better buckle up. This Norwegian road is home to the Storsjæsjøne Bridge, which is known as the Bridge to Nowhere, with an interesting approach that it looks like a ramp leading all the way up to the sky. And when you reach the peak, you had better not look down. And so once you manage to get over your fear of heights, this road will take drivers teetering all along the edge of the... Yeah, um, I don't think I can do that road because I have... I have this fear of height, but not that much little fear of height. <laughs> That is something I'll try to fight, that fear of height. The sea, and that's where the real fun begins, because while the waves of the Norwegian sea may be a gorgeous sight to behold, you can lose a lot more than your lunch here as the brutality of the waves as they crash over the road during stormy weather conditions threaten to bring you back into the sea with you as it recedes into the depths. Number 14, Kotahuasi Canyon Road. The Cotahuasi Canyon Road begins on the Pan American Highway near the city of Araquipa, and much of this canyon carved road is completely unpaved, with rocks and pebbles of various sizes often. How can people even drive on this road, man? I'm scared. I like adventure, but not this type that at any seconds you can, you can lose your life, man. Hell no and impeding the course, not to mention those that can fall down the rock face at any given moment. Oh. And things only get worse during the rainy season. This is scary. Rainy season, they don't have to travel this road. You don't even have to travel. If this is the only way from point A to point B, ooh. but if there are other options, okay, but if this is the only option, from point A to point B to survive, then I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Me season. The road is so intense, in fact, that it takes about 10 to 12 hours to make it from end to end, meaning only the most stalwart of travelers can make it to the other side. And the only cars capable of making it across are those with four wheel drive. This is one of the roads that are too infamous even for the likes of tourists and adventurers. Cotahuasi Canyon is the third deepest canyon in the world. And just to put it into perspective, it's twice as deep as the American Grand Canyon. That's a long way down. Cotahuasi Canyon Road is full of some of the most challenging and harrowing hairpin curves in the world and dangerous drop-offs. Don't think that you're going to roll your window down on a hot day to catch a breeze because this extreme road tops out at 15,000 feet above sea level where the air is nice and Whoa. thin and catching a breath here is nearly as difficult as making the drive unscathed. That's true, that's true. <laughs> what, what that man is saying is true. Catching a breath is more difficult <laughs> Taking a ride, that's true, man. Whoa, because a little mistake, you are gone. All of you, there will be no survival, man. What if the car gets spoiled? Well, how will you do? You have to walk, walk back to where you are coming from, or you have to keep walking to where you are going if the car. Get to spoil. Half a problem. Number 13, Taroko Gorge Road. Located in Taiwan, 
the Taroko Gorge Road stretches for just under 12 miles. And while it may be one rough ride, it also offers some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. The Taroko Gorge Road is carved right out and right through the mountains it winds through. And despite the perils of braving the road, it's become a popular attraction for the bravest of tourists. So don't be surprised to see a whole slew of tour buses, cars, scooters, cyclists, and even pedestrians all vying and fighting for their space on the same narrow stone road. It's kind of scary to think about, but people do it every day in spite of the narrow bends and blind spots throughout the road. Not only are there the narrow, blind corners, but the Taroko Gorge Road is subject to no shortage of random rock falls, floods, landslides, and even earthquakes. So making it across this 12-mile stretch in one piece is a true miracle. But all of these natural occurrences make it incredibly difficult to keep the Taroko Gorge Road in good condition with heavy rain. This road is dangerous, even looks scary. The tunnels. It's like there is a ghost living in those tunnels. <laughs> Hey. Falls and typhoons ravaging the area and leaving sections of the road nearly impassable. Number 12, Karakoram Highway. Taking travelers on an 810-mile stretch between China and Pakistan, the Karakoram Highway has been considered to be the eighth wonder of the world. And while it's not hard to see why, as the highway offers some gorgeous views, it's the perfect example of how some of the most beautiful things in nature is better not that bad sure are also the most deadly the karakoram highway reaches over 15,000 feet above sea level at its highest point where the air is nice and thin and your breath can quite literally be taken away and if that's not enough for you there are plenty of landslides falling rocks floods full-blown avalanches and plenty of steep cliffs to fall from it's a pretty harrowing journey despite it being such a popular not a volcano just rocks flying over the Bosses, whoa, <laughs> it's like you're in a war zone, <laughs> a stone war zone. Your road, in fact, much of the Karakoram Highway even follows the old Silk Road, one of the most important trade routes in human history. But the highway as we know it today was first built in 1959, and roughly a thousand workers were killed during the construction because of dynamite blasts and their subsequent landslides. On another occasion, 17 people were killed when their bus fell into a gorge after the driver hit a sharp turn along the highway too fast. And just a month before... I said it when a least mystic got a slight turn on the wrong direction. You are all dead. <sighs> that unfortunate incident, a tourist was killed when a landslide hit their van. Number 11. Fairy Meadows Road. Don't let the name of this road fool you, because the Fairy Meadows Road is anything but sweet. Located in Pakistan. Whoa. It's number 11. <laughs> if number 11... Number 11 is like this. I wonder how number 1 will be like. Okay. Maybe the number 1, <laughs> you'll be fighting <laughs> scary things on your way to to arrive at your destination. Then this amazing and dangerous mountain track goes on for just under 10 miles. But the perils of the journey will make it the longest 10 miles of your life. Fairy Meadows Road is mostly unstable gravel roads at a treacherous altitude that reaches up to about 8,000 feet. And plenty of narrow turns that if met with too much speed and not enough care can spell the end of your trip. Yeah, it's a gorgeous destination, but paying a little too much attention to the scenery could mean you'll notice a complete lack of guardrails a little too late, and there's nothing to prevent a vehicle from falling off the cliff. It is not for the faint of heart. Fairy Meadows Road starts from the Karakoram Highway and leads to the village of Tato, and can accommodate a vehicle much larger than a jeep. And eventually, it re Whoa. How do, how do people even travel on this road, man? When I look at it, I'm so scared. As I say, I like adventure, but this one, I won't dare. No, it it reaches a point so narrow that the rest of the harrowing journey must be completed on foot. Number 10, 99 Bend Road to Heaven. We've all heard of the stairway to heaven. 99 Road Bend to Heaven. <laughs> because yes, the road to heaven is, is it's very narrow. It's a narrow journey. 
<laughs> Route 7 is a narrow journey. <laughs> ah, dark green. But just wait until you hear about the 99 Bend Whoa. Road to Heaven. Located in China, the 99 Bend Road to Heaven is a horrifying road that whips and winds its way through Tiananmen Mountain National Park. And as its name would suggest, this extreme road features 99 death-defying hairpin turns constructed hundreds of feet in the air. Construction of the road took eight years to complete, with the construction finally ending in 2006. But this is an interesting road, as it manages to combine culture and history with human ingenuity. Oh. To get to this road, you first need to drive up to Tongchan Avenue, or the Avenue Towards Heaven. But the 99 curves of this extreme road aren't random. In fact, they represent the nine palaces of heaven. And by the time you make it to the top, you'll certainly feel like you've ascended to the realm of divinity and celestial beings. But the icing on the cake is Heaven's Gate, which is the natural rock arch that was believed to be the link between the gods and the mortal world. Number 9. Gualiang Tunnel Back in the day, the only way to reach the Chinese village of Gualiang was to take the narrow and treacherous path that was carved right into the side of the Taihong Mountains. And the previous road is China. This other one again, China. Huh. Eh? And while that may have been one hell of a scenic route, the trek was as long as it was arduous, and one false step meant sudden doom. And the local villagers weren't waiting for the help of the government to get things done. A small group of people put their heads together, and in 1972 they started to dig a tunnel. Because why go around the mountains when you can just go straight through them? The group was small, made of just 13 humble people. And while they wanted this tunnel dug during more modern times, the people of Gualiang didn't have access to things like excavators, bulldozers, or something seemingly as trivial as dynamite. So the only thing they could do was dig by hand. Yeah, that's right. It took 26 hands, five years to dig a tunnel about three quarters of a mile long, 16 feet tall, and 13 feet wide. So the Gualiang Whoa. Tunnel may not be the biggest in the world, but considering how it was built, you've got to tip your hat to the people who created it with their bare hands. I think to drive this type of road, you have to be moving like a tortoise. No, like a snail. Like this. You have... most difficult stage of the dig, the group was only able to dig about three feet a day. The entire endeavor was so tough that three people even died in the process. In the end, not only did this tunnel on the mountain change the lives of the villagers, giving them better access in and out, but the tunnel has also become a big tourist attraction over the last... It's a big mountain. <laughs> there is a route. Wow! Only human being, they didn't have... They didn't have excavator or granite to explode they dig 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 to get this man over the last few decades but the tunnel lacks barriers and lamps so drivers enter at their own risk especially at night it's become such a harrowing road that the locals lovingly refer to it as the road that does not tolerate mistakes pretty menacing right road that does not tolerate mistake because a slide of mistake we are gone see you in the next life number eight the pan american highway on its own the pan american highway doesn't offer the typical perils of extreme roads like hairpin turns steep cliff sides with long drops or even unpaved roads so what makes it so dangerous well it's people the majority of the Pan American Highway is an average roadway. However, there's one stretch of road that exists in a heavily contested area, and the odds of encountering local rebel forces increase the further you go. And while Mother Nature is notorious for being both unpredictable and unforgiving, humans unfortunately tend to share some similarities with her. No shortage of travelers have been intercepted along the Pan American Highway by insurgents, kidnapped and held for ransoms, sometimes for years on end while others simply become prisoners for the rest of their days. It's the type of highway where if you absolutely must drive down it, you would better put the pedal to the metal and don't stop until you get to where you need to go. So, it means that in this highway, you put your foot on the pedal, you don't stop. Even there is a ghost coming or there is someone coming from fire, don't stop. Because if you stop, you are finished. 
or your car has a problem you are finished i see whoa number seven dalton highway Drivers preparing to hit the road and make for the Dalton Highway in Alaska are advised to bring along as much as they can with them because there isn't a single hospital, hotel, restaurant, or gas station for a 400-mile stretch. Much of Dalton Highway is... So in this, you have to prepare everything to survive. Everything. All the necessary thing. Everything. Wow. It's unpaved and made of gravel, making it an incredibly treacherous ride, especially during poor weather conditions. And it doesn't get any easier on the steep grades either. It's not uncommon for a car to slip and slide up and down the road if the driver isn't on their toes sitting behind the wheel of an all-wheel drive vehicle. But that's not all nature has in store for drivers. Because this 400-mile stretch is so barren, so devoid of human life outside of the occasional traveler, wildlife feels safe enough traversing the roads, and split-second decisions are all that stand between hitting an animal and some sort of safety. But if you attempt to swerve out of the way, the unpaved road will have some other plans for you. It's a pretty tough spot to be in, and driving over the speed limit is hardly advised. In the winters, the Dalton Highway gets so bad and so slippery that even the toughest and most seasoned ice road truckers will downright refuse to cross it. And the avalanches certainly don't make the Dalton Highway any more attractive either. Number six, Amuria Kutsk Highway. Siberia has built up a reputation throughout its history for being one of the harshest locations on Earth. And the folks. The harsh location on Earth? Siberia? Is there sun in there? Because I'm seeing snow everywhere. The the road looks like there is ice everywhere on the road. To have endured there are no doubt as tough as nails. And wait, those animals. I'm bringing back a little bit. A treacherous ride, especially during. Wait, wait, wait. And even the toughest and most seasoned ice road truckers will downright refuse to cross it. And the avalanches certainly don't make the Dalton Highway any more attractive either. Number six, Amuria Kutsk Highway. Siberia has built up a reputation throughout its history for being one of the harshest locations on Earth. Those animals, what? Are they eating snow? Is that what they eat? Whoa. And the folks who have endured there are no doubt as tough as nails. And while living there can be rough, even getting there is a challenge in its own right, as if it's a precursor for what a... It's really rough if those animals are eating snow. Wait, nicknamed the Road of Bones, the Amur Yakuts Highway will get you to one of the coldest regions of the world by a combination of two highways, the R504 Kolmia Highway and the A360 Lina Highway, both of which are subject to the same dangers, no matter how well maintained they may be. Both highways are joined by the Lena River Ice Road, which is just what it sounds like, a makeshift road across the river that's open between December and April, when the ice is frozen enough to drive on. But nothing is ever guaranteed, and the unfortunate truth of the... So they are driving on ice. So we have to wait till the ice is frozen. Whoa, man. The Amor Yakuts Highway is that dozens of lives are lost here each year as their vehicles fall through the untrustworthy ice. Visibility on the highway reaches an all-time low the only time it's even open, and making it to the Ice River Road means making it through the... I'm saying my country there is... I don't know how call that a highway. There are two of them. Every year there are thousands of life. Thousands of life. Thousands of life. Wow. The treacherous snow, which proves to be even more difficult after periods of heavy rain. When things get really bad on the highway, traffic jams of 4x4 vehicles can last for miles, with everyone hoping their cars aren't swallowed whole by the mud. Oh. Number 5. Zojila Pass 
The Zoji La Pass in India is the longest five and a half miles of any traveler's life. The cliffside road reaches a maximum elevation of a staggering 11,500 feet, and there are no guardrails to help keep you from falling off this side. The incredibly narrow road passes through the highest mountain range in the world, the Himalayas, and it's unpaved from end to end. Landslides. And I can't do this. If there is another option to move from point A to B, I will choose that option if the best, better. But if this is the only option, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Maybe the people on the other side, I don't know whoever, whoever meet each other. If there is no option, if this is the only option, man. Lines are persistent in the area, and a lack of traffic signs prevent travelers from knowing what lies ahead and which areas are more prone to the harshness of nature. The road of the Zojila Pass zigs and zags over the craggy peaks to connect the towns of Srinagar and Leh in the western Himalayan range. And it's so treacherous that it's closed during the winter when the 50-foot snowdrifts and high winds will make the road impassable. The only solace here is the fact that the road is less than six miles long. It was first built in 1947 for military purposes. It's a critical link between Lakta and Kashmir, and during those winter months, Lakta is completely closed off from the rest of the world. As you make your way across the Zojila Pass, it's not hard to notice all of the overturned buses and crashed cars that didn't make it to the end. Number 4. Karnali Highway Moving over to another area in the risky and rocky Himalayas. Where is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I was saying that number 11 is... This is number 4. Layers of West Nepal, we have the harrowing Karnali Nepal, Highway. Nepal. This one is so rough that about 50 Nepal, people died. Nepal, this country, oh, this country. Every year, every year there is a disaster. Every year you must get the Nepal. Oh, after Nepal friends here in Korea work together. We work together. I hear every year making the drive along the 155 mile highway somewhat of a death wish. Even when it's not monsoon season, this road is. That's true. If you have a dead wish, <laughs> travel through that road. It's one of the most dangerous in the world, thanks to the extremely dusty surface that makes for poor visibility through the narrow stretches. And to make matters worse, kicking up all that dust makes it incredibly tough to see the oncoming landslides, falling rocks, potholes, flooded sections, and the huge drops off the incredibly steep cliffs. It's not really for the faint of heart, and best avoided at all costs. The Karnali Highway is so bad that the police have even banned driving here at night due to the number of fatal accidents that happen, and the fact that 85% of the road is considered unsafe. Number 3. North Yungus Road all right, if you ever find yourself driving in Bolivia and see signs for the North Yungas Road, Whoa. make sure you turn around at all costs. It's also known as the Road of Death. Yes. That's Road of Death. <laughs> oh, there it is. It describes it as more scary. And just turn around and go back. But North Yungas Road is just under 50 miles long and sits high in the air at an elevation of 15,200 feet, meaning the air is nice and thin enough to quite literally take your breath away. And it ain't too good for your car's engine either. Not even driving, only walking. Walking is too scary for me, man. Leading from La Paz, this is a one-lane road full of vertical drops as much as 3,000 feet into the Amazon rainforest below. Took about a long way down. And if death-defying cliffs into the jungle below aren't enough for you daredevils and thrill-seekers, the North Yungas Road is complete with more than 200 tight hairpin turns. Good luck navigating all those through the area's thick fog, all while avoiding landslides and rock falls, as you can't help but notice a complete lack of guardrails. Until 1994, about 300 travelers died on the road of death every year, and makeshift memorials are scattered all along the road where people plunged over the edge into the ravines below. As time is going... People that died, uh, well, were their bodies fine? I hope. 
because that place if you hmm, I'm not sure they will find your body eh? if the cops if they can find the cops has gone on though certain parts of the road have been bypassed to make for two lanes to help the flow of traffic but cyclists still come from all over the world to challenge the road of death with some failing and falling to their doom there are some people living with their working with their death certificate each eh? year cyclists go there to challenge challenge the road <laughs> Man, I can't <laughs> Um, I like adventure, but this type, I no, no, no. <laughs> you are you are facing you are facing death. Doom. Sometimes it's best not to challenge nature. That's right. Number two, Kilar to Pangi Road. Heading back over to India for the penultimate entry on our list, we have the ominously named Kilar to Pangi Road. At 70 miles long, this road reaches a maximum elevation of 8,200 feet and offers zero guardrails to help travelers from falling over the edge. The fact that this road even exists is kind of mind-boggling. Unless you have nerves of steel and pro-driving skills, you would best steer clear. This road is only open during the summer months and it's completely unpaved, meaning you're driving extra slowly over potholes and giant rocks that have fallen over the years and will likely never be removed. But there is one... People are really challenging the nature. Eh? This type of road, I say you have to move like a snail. A snail. Eh? Even walking. Walking. It's scary. One six mile stretch in particular that boasts a rocky overhang that looks like it's ready to come crashing down at any given moment. This road was built hundreds of years ago by the local villagers and has been repaired a total of zero Man. times since then. The Kalar to Pangi Road is only wide enough for one Jeep at a time, and one false move is going to send the vehicle 2,000 feet down off the vertical cliff. Number one, Skipper's Canyon Road. Skipper's Canyon Road is carved right into the mountains of New Zealand, and despite being open to drivers, this road is anything but paved. It was hand-carved by miners over a hundred years ago and remains as thin, narrow, and horrifying as it was all those years ago. Skipper's Canyon Road is just over 16 miles long, running from the paved Coronet Peak Road to Skipper's Campground, and the track traverses the face of the canyon high over the raging Shotover River. Today, the rocky road is most frequently used by tour buses with incredibly skilled and careful drivers at the helm and adventure companies just looking to give their guests a thrill as they look down to what could be their doom if the vehicle's weight shifts just an ounce over to the wrong side because there are of course no guardrails here to save you and to make matters worse the road becomes too narrow in certain areas creating choke points that will make it physically impossible for two vehicles to pass each other so when they happen what are you going to do well one of you is going to have to hit the skipper's canyon road in reverse until things widen up enough and despite the attraction, people lose their lives here every year, with 185 dying in 2021 alone. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax. Uh, wow. Tell me what you think. What's your number? I think this uh, number two should be number one because that's the most scary for me and uh, one i think number seven or the, the road to heaven the one in china can come number three. Oh, um as i say i like adventure but i cannot do i cannot try that okay guys you can check you can check this channel uh top five i'll leave the link in the description you can check there you can watch you can watch those video most extreme roads they have many videos okay i'll leave the link in the description so you can check the channel top fives okay guys please like comment and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as i always say peace one love. See you in the next video.